Okay, so yeah, just go ahead and give your name. Okay, my name is Matt Keller and I work with the OLPC Foundation in Cambridge. And what's a little brief uh, history goal-wise and what OLPC was looking to do in the beginning of and today? Well, OLPC, when, when it first started, was really determined to reach those kids in the world who were the poorest, who lived in the most remote places. And the reasoning was that so many kids around the world have either A, no access to school, or B, have access to schools that are so bad that they're essentially kind of not, not important, not relevant. But, you know, I remember when Nicholas and Walter talked about this very early on, very passionately, very eloquently, that how do you reach those kids who are not in school? And it turned out that schools happen to be the best distribution model for laptops. And it was kind of a case where necessity was the mother of invention and that schools were the places used to get laptops into the hands of kids. Which, and that's how we started out. Um, and now what I'm working on in the reading project kind of draws on that past. In a sense, the past is truly prologue here and that everything we've done has led up to the point where we now feel like we can get tablets into the hands of kids who've never been to school, who've never seen a school, who live so remotely and so far off the grid that getting these kids an opportunity to use technology in a way that, 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 that changes the way they think and learn is possible. And that's where we are now. Just out of curiosity, what would be like the, the magic uh, technology bullet? that if you have to give you like the biggest, you know, closest to you know, what, you, what you want to be able to do. The, the magic technology bullet is that a, 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 a tablet, because they're so intuitive and they're so good for kids at an early age, a tablet that uses so little power, or is self-powered in a sense, so little power that it can run with just a small solar panel or some other device that charges uh, no matter where you are in the world, where you don't have to build a big charging station or anything else that would preclude you from getting to scale. So that technology that, that has power as its primary, as a primary uh, objective, the low use of power is really, in my opinion, our magic bullet. And then in terms of education, what kind of um, almost educational bullet, or what kind of uh, educational theory, or something like that, that probably could be solved that could help you out the most? Well, I, it's, it's hard to say. I mean, you know, we're all big believers in the notion that a child can create his or her own learning environment, and a child that constructs her knowledge and her environment uh, is a child that thinks more critically, more rationally, more analytically. And so any device that allows for the creativity uh, of a child to come through, which is not that hard to do because all children are creative, is good. Uh, you know, we see the kids with these tablets. These are non-constructionist tablets, but if you had a tablet that was constructionist, you had a tablet that allowed children to actually go in and create. I don't care where these kids are in the world, they're going to do some stunning stuff. Okay, and then what, 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 what do you think the breakthrough will happen, just, out of, just if you could guess? I think if we can prove that kids can teach themselves how to read using only tablets, if we can prove that children in the most remote places on earth can manipulate the technology in such a way that they can do things that we can't do here. Uh, and the world takes note of that. That's going to be a major breakthrough. That's a big deal. And um, what kind of questions do you wish people would ask you? Or what kind of information would you most like to get out in order to get a chance to? Uh, what I, you know, what I'd like to say to people, particularly people who work in multilateral institutions like the World Bank and bilateral institutions and governments, is that to say that the answer to education and learning is building more schools and training more teachers, you know, is inadequate. And that it's time to embrace technology as a possibility to change the way that children think no matter where they live. And then, um, for you personally, what, what would you have said to yourself, you know, four years ago or whenever you first started, to, you know, almost like uh, guiding information for people to follow, but just if you could go back in time and talk to yourself about the wisdom you have now that you would have liked to have then. Uh, that's a good question. I think uh, understanding that that governments in the developing world simply don't have the resources 
to fund OLPC or, or ideas like OLPC at scale and really understanding that in order to get to scale, putting OLPC as an idea into their five-year poverty reduction strategies or five-year education plans so that international institutions see that that's what governments want to do is where I should have spent a lot of my time. Um, because that combination of the World Bank and the government, of DFID and the government, of USAID and the government working together was what could have gotten this idea to scale. And I think my fundamental mistake was not realizing that early on. Well, and then one other thing, I mean, we're here at OLPC San Francisco Summit. What do you think is like the best um, in terms of the volunteers and people are doing this, like, what advice would you give to them for like the best way of you know progressing this along? I think keep doing you know in a sense what they're doing because one of these kids that they're that they're reaching in one of these countries, one of these kids is going to grow up to be a minister of education or a prime minister, or one of these kids is going to grow up to develop something so creative and so innovative it's going to it's going to it's going to make her a prominent figure in the, in, the, in the country. And that by dint of doing what they're doing, they're beginning this movement around the idea that technology can transform the lives of children. Cool, excellent, yeah, that's great, thanks. All right.